Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to talk about, let me make sure, one, two, seven sweet fall roses. Okay, so hello and welcome to everyone, to all the new and existing subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Matter of fact, you can go ahead and give me that like. Go ahead and subscribe. And then we're going to get into it. Okay. So, I'm just going to talk about how the fragrance makes me feel or how it smells to me. I'm not really going to go deep into the notes. So, it'll be more like what I'm smelling or what I remember. Because I didn't pull out any notes and I don't feel like it okay <laughs> so I hope that you appreciate my nose that's developing okay so the first one let me try to shine the bottle Ooh, that fragrance came on up to me shine the bottle up a little bit Okay, so this is Dolce and Gabbana, the one intense. Dolce and Gabbana, the one gold intense. Yes. So it's the one. Um, you hear people talk about this every now and then, but this is a beautiful fragrance. It has plum in it. It's one of those um, kind of like a wine fragrance. So it smells like it has some liquor in it. And of course, it has rose. I hope I did the intro right. I think I did. Some sweet fall roses. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so this has rose. It has plum. I think it has some patchouli or it smells like it has some patchouli that's grounding it. This is such a sultry, beautiful fragrance to me. I think this is a fragrance that will perform well in the evening as well throughout the day. But I think this is really nice in the evening when you have those evening activities to do. And you just want to put on a little something that's a little bit extra. This is beautiful. So. Is it heavy rose? The rose is in there. I wouldn't say that it's heavy necessarily. But I really enjoy rose. More than I thought. So it's beautiful. Okay. Okay. That's Dolce Gabbana, the one gold intense. And let me see, where can you find this? I bought this off of the gray market. Like, I don't remember which one. I bought it last year. So it was like Fragrantica, Fragrance X, um, Joma Shop. I don't know. One of those gray marketplaces that's where i bought it it was not too expensive i know it was under a hundred dollars it may be even more like in the 70 dollar range this is a 1.6 this says 1.6 so 1.6 or 50 mil i've never seen it in the store so there Oh, that's good. That is good. Okay, let me pull this little pretty pretty one out here that I haven't talked about in a while. And I need to wear her. This is Idol Nectar. This was released at the end of 2022. Very pretty. Um, to me, it's the best Idol that I've smelled so far. Um, I did have a chance to appreci 
to wear the original eye dial, which once I wore it, I appreciated it more. It's a nice fresh set, but this one is um, very pretty. It has rose, it has a popcorn note, it has some caramel. I don't smell the popcorn. I just smell the real pretty, sweet, beautiful rose. It is so good. This is the fragrance that my friend said she wanted to eat it or lick it. One of them. <laughs> That's how good it smelled to her. It is so pretty. So this one... I would say it's a little bit more fun, maybe even a little bit fresher. I think this is a year-round fragrance. It's a pretty, pretty girl fragrance. It's just pretty. I don't know if this has some jasmine mixed with the rose. But it does, it does have the presence of the rose. And I think it might have some bergamot or something at the top. It's something that's making it bright. I know it's not a real fruit note, but it could be a bergamot. I'm not sure. But this is nice smelling. It, uh, I would say it might give you around four hours. I don't remember it being extremely long lasting, but it's so fun and pretty. It'll just make you want to spray it again, especially to get that burst of sweetness from the first spray. So good. And as far as the one intense, I would say you probably get about five, six hours, but it'll start. It'll it'll die down to a, a a skin set. It'll get real close, so it's not projecting a whole lot. I would say after four hours, that I can remember. This is another one I need to pull out and wear. I love doing these type of videos because sometimes you remember stuff. That you haven't worn recently, and when you see it, it's like, ooh, I gotta, I gotta get that on my skin. Oh, okay. So this is, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I forgot what I was doing. This is Lancome, or I should say, yeah, Lancome, We La Vies Belle. This was released in 2022. This is my first LaVia Bell. This was, how did I describe this? Because it still smells the same to me. This is a candied violet with rose and vanilla. It's so pretty, it's sweet. And it has, just like this burst right here, that's how the fragrance, it kind of has this burst of freshness. Then you get the raspberry, I forgot the raspberry, you get raspberry in here. It's pretty. Now I might have to do a, a comparison. This was my favorite as far as the V.S. Bell that I had smelled. But I have the new one, the Iris. That's pretty too. That might have rose in it. I don't even know, but we're talking about this one here. I couldn't pull out all my roses all at once. <laughs> okay. So this is the type of fragrance I would say is probably year-round. Um, it lasts, I would say about four hours. Then you want to reapply because of course you want to get that bright freshness again. You might be faintly on your skin, but I haven't worn it in a while. So it may have gotten stronger. And I would say this is a fragrance 
that I would wear for daytime activities, even though it could go into the night. I can see wearing it at, um, say, church or a play or some type of function where you might have to dress up a little bit. It might be more like dress casual, maybe. Um, but you want to be, you want to smell good. It wouldn't be necessarily you're wearing jeans, t-shirt. It would be more like I'm wearing, if I'm going to wear jeans, I'm going to put on some heels or some, some boots, um, with a nice shirt, blouse, sweater, that type of deal. So I'm not necessarily dressed up, but I'm not dressed down either. Very pretty and sweet. Beautiful for the fall. And that raspberry note is shining. So this, I'm gonna pull out a new one for me that I think is beautiful. So pretty. Now, comparing this to the fragrances that I just smelled, this one is not as sweet. This is Maison Alhambra Infinity Rose. Um, it is a sweet fragrance, but it's not as sweet as those. This has more of a, like I said, a, a like a Seven Up, effervescent, slightly citrus bergamot type note with rose and then it has some deeper notes i don't know if it's moss i don't think it's patchouli i remember somebody thought i had on oud so it is a stronger woody note but this is a beautiful scent this is an elegant scent i think very pretty it would um show up show out in cold weather say if you're outside i think this would last and it'll float in the air so this could be the i don't know say you're um what is the thing um say you're hanging out with friends around a fire print fire pit having drinks enjoying the cool weather but you're warmed up by the fire pit um i think this will cut through that smoke and you will be smelling good you put it on your sweater or on your scarf beautiful but i also think this is a fragrance that you can wear for an evening out because it has some elegance to it but it does have the depth where it can um, withstand the cold. This is beautiful. So that's Infinity Rose by Maison Alhambra. So next, I'm going to pull out Poison Girl by Dior. That's a pretty spray. Nice. Ooh. This is so creamy and pretty. It went up my nose, though. I might sneeze. So good. Oh, my God. I... Okay, so this has a orange blossom or orange note in it, something like that. It has the rose. And I think it has some vanilla. It's something in here that's making it creamy, creamy sweet. It's not overly sweet as compared to the first three that I did. But it is nice and sweet. This is the EDP. So pretty. I haven't worn her in a while. I probably haven't worn her since spring. So it's time to bring her back out for the fall so she can work her magic. I do think this has like an almond note or... um. What is it? Heliotrope or something that comes across, or is it Hedion? One of those that come across kind of almondy. 
And maybe it has some sandalwood. I'm not sure because it's something that's creamy. So pretty. But you are getting like an orange vanilla with your rose. Creamy, sweet scent. This is um, a scent that you can go out in. But it's also a scent that I think that you can wear, like say, for weekend activities. Whatever that may be. It could be going to the mall, going to eat, going to the movies, going to a club going to church, going wherever. I think this would fit the bill. Because it's just pretty. It's actually, it's just, it's good. <laughs> so, this is Poison Girl by Dior. Um, I don't know, it's been out for a while. I have been seeing people talk about this. I guess since the weather is cooling down, this is one to pull out for this season. Can you see it? Poison Girl by Dior. So, oh, a couple more. I have, oh, with this one, these are all my designers, one Middle Eastern. I just figured, I just uh, looked at that. Well, these were the ones I gravitated to, so these are the ones I pulled out. I don't always have to have a niche brand in here because I still have and love many designer fragrance fragrances I need to spray a little bit more okay this right here is sophistication this is good um treasure midnight rose I know this was very popular when I first started watching uh, YouTube perfume because I didn't know anything about this. This is sophisticated. It's sultry. It is it has that rose. I know it has some type of uh, like maybe black currant or cassius or something like that in it. It even has, it's something in here that's giving it some depth. So, so it comes across a little bit smoky to me, but to me that makes it sultry. I know when I wore this, this was a compliment getter. So it, it can withstand the smoky club atmosphere because it came through and that's, I was in that type of atmosphere. This is pretty. I think you can wear this for any type of evening out. And I think you can, um, because it's, 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 it's uh, sophisticated to me, anything, any activity, that you might have to do and dress nice, I think you can wear this. It has, does this, I don't know if it has raspberry or not, but this is nice. This is Midnight Rose. This is Lacombe, Lancome Treasure Midnight Rose or Midnight Rose Treasure, whichever one. I don't remember how they put it. But it is one of the treasures, like the diamonds. So it's in the diamond family. It has the rose around the neck like they do. This is a purple one. I don't know why they decided to put it in a different bottle. But this is nice. Ooh. And I know that you can find this on the gray market for a really good price. I got mine from the duty free shop. I don't remember which airport. But I got it from a duty free shop. And I think I've, I paid less than $60. And this is like a. Is it a 2.5 or something. Or a 2 ounces. It's a little bit of a bigger bottle. 
I can't see y'all, but I think it's more than a 1.7. So it might be a two ounce. This is very pretty. I have seen it at like Sephora or Macy's, but you may, it, it won't be at all Sephora's. You might have to ask for it. Very nice. So that's Midnight Rose. One more. Very good, girl. Oh, so pretty. This has your lychee. It has your rose. It has your vanilla. It's very creamy, very bright, very pretty. It's a statement. It's a compliment getter. If you want to look good and smell good, put her on. If you feel it sassy day, that day, put on your red lipstick. And very good, girl. Very pretty. This does have a brightness to it. It does calm down. And it's, it smells like it has almond in it, but I do not believe it has almond. I think it's vanilla and rose and lychee. And think it might have some bergamot. What's ground in it? Oh. This might have vetiver in it. I don't think it's patchouli. This is beautiful. And this is has a good um, longevity. It probably give you five, six hours, maybe longer. It projects well. Compliment getter. People will ask you what you're wearing. So pretty. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Not so quick as I wanted it to be. But I hope you enjoyed my sweet fall rose scents. If you have some of these, let me know. Are you ready to pull them out? Is this the season that you wear them in? Or do you wear them in warmer weather, colder weather? Let me know. Even let me know what you might um, layer them with. Some of them, I know what I would layer them with. But I want to hear your ideas so I can try them. Okay. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thumbnail. Oh, let me do this. <laughs>